everything to zero, so progress bar one dot i is equal to zero, progress bar one dot maximum is equal to zero, change of amount is equal to zero, previous amount is equal to zero, and then you want to reset all of our set status, actually we'll keep that just so you can see it. I think that's everything. Oh wait, no. Next check is equal to now dot add seconds one. There we go. Okay, now for our button. This is what's gonna start the whole download and everything. You want to create a save file dialog. That way you know the path is always going to be right and you don't have to type in a path in SFD as new save file dialog if sfd.show dialog dialog result dialog result dot ok alright and we put this if statement right here to make sure that the user is clicked ok on the dialog and not just click cancel because if they click cancel then it's just going to give you an error when you go to download the file because there won't be a path there. So now we can do wc.download file async new uri text box onetext because that's where you're going to put the link of the file that you want to download and then this is the file path which will be from our dialog. And then I, that's pretty much it. So now once you click the download button it'll download whatever and just to make sure that there's a path there, you can do if text if not text box dot text to then alright. And then basically, what this not statement here right do, does is it'll reverse the boolean value that it returns. So if you get rid of this, then that's saying if this right here is equal to true then do this but if you put a not here then it's making if this is not true then do this pretty pretty self-explanatory all right so now we're going to debug this and we're going to go grab a download link real fast so hold on while i do that um to Xbox MD because I know Horizon is big enough that it, you'll be able to see everything changing. Oh, I forgot one thing. On our download rate function, you want to add in and like per second because that's how often it's checking it. Open that up again. And then their form, get the download link. Copy the link address. Okay. Paste that into the text box. So now it's going to download Horizon when you click the download button. And we will name this Web Client Client Test dot exe and then save that and then when you do that now there you go that is all the download information right there so as you can see I have just terribly shitty internet but I hope you enjoyed that I will paste the code and everything in the description for you guys alright or not. <laughs>